to our first wellness Wednesday. Let me check and make sure my mic is on. It's on. Welcome to our first wellness Wednesday. I'm your girl, Miss BD, and I am so happy to be here bringing to you to my wellness Wednesday segment. Um, wellness Wednesday has been a segment for me for like the last four years. I was doing it on and off on Instagram. And then when I started my YouTube channel, I said, you know what? Wellness Wednesday is going to be my every Wednesday YouTube segment that I'm going to drop a video for at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. And we're going to talk about wellness. We're going to talk about mental health. We're going to talk about self-care. We're going to talk about all those things. But we're also going to talk, we're going to talk about how like everyday life is, is part of our wellness and our self-care and things like that um but before we do anything before we do anything and this will be our ritual this will be our most important part of the segment before we do anything we are going to light our sage because you know energy is important and people don't understand that energy is important. And I want to transfer good energy over to you. And I want to make sure that my message comes across clear. So we're going to light our sage here. Our sage is lighting. Our sage is burning. We put our sage in our um shell somebody actually bought this for me for christmas from work like i've been at my job for two years so last year somebody bought it for me um sage and we're gonna light our palmetto stick And we're just going to sit in silence for a, a half a minute and just breathe in the aroma from the sage or from the palmetto stick. I'll make sure I leave in the um, comment where I got my sage kit from and it wasn't expensive. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Don't you just feel the vibe changing? Don't you just feel the vibe changing in the room? You feel the vibe changing? Yes. positive energy from me to you okay so now that we got our positive energy flowing and we're gonna let the, the smoke just still stay now that we have our positive energy flowing let's get into it so what is actually wellness you ask need to make sure my mic is on at all times what's wellness you ask wellness in my definition is doing something for yourself activity wise taking care of yourself activity wise um cleaning is part of wellness um doing a like a diy activity that you like is part love is part of wellness going outside and taking a walk is part of wellness um eating healthy is part of wellness what else do we have drinking water okay Is part of wellness so your daily life is considered wellness however we don't all practice wellness on a daily basis we eat McDonald's we struggle to drink water we don't want to go home and clean up and all of that is conducive to our mental health which is a part a major part of our wellness and 
a mental heart, our mental health is also a major part of our self care. If your mind ain't right, you ain't gonna want to take care of yourself. And if you're not taking care of yourself, then you're not practicing wellness. Okay, so I gave you my definition of wellness. Let me give to you what Pfizer's definition of wellness is. Wellness is an act of particip- or is an act of practicing, excuse me, healthy habits on a daily basis to attain better physical and mental health outcomes so that instead of just surviving, you're thriving. Same thing I said. It's it's doing, you know, things on a daily basis to, to make you happy, to make you feel like you're you're living and not just here. You're living for a purpose and you're not just here. My YouTube content is part of my wellness now. It is because it makes me feel good. I like coming to talk to you. It makes me feel good. Bringing messages and showing you my behind the scenes with my candles and how I'm working on branding and doing all of that and still practicing self-care and still making sure that my mental health is intact. I love sharing that with you. If you like me sharing these things with you and if you want to stay connected and stay up to date on our Wellness Wednesday videos, and other information we'll share in regards to candle making and self-care make sure you hit that subscribe button that's all you got to do is subscribe that's it and we'll be friends and then you'll be able to see the ins and outs of the line beauty shop and how miss Dee Dee does things so make sure you hit that subscribe button but um so During this process of me, you know, bringing this Wellness Wednesday segment to YouTube, I had, I was also, and am also in the process of redoing my house and, um, installing, instilling in some different self-care techniques for myself. For example, I just started listening to a self-care podcast. It's called self-care fix and i found it on shopify now the other podcast i was listening to before that was um sisters who kill but because i'm fixing my self-care i felt as though i needed to transform or or change what i was listening to for the moment and start listening to some self-care um podcasts and things like that so i found the self-care fix uh, I went all the way back to episode one, and this came out in January 2019. I went all the way back to episode one, and I'm going to listen to each episode and um, learn some things from it and grow with it. Because when you do anything that has to do with self-care, you want your listeners and your audience to grow with it and learn from it. So I had to, um, I didn't know, Sisters Who Kill is good. So I didn't neglect that one. I just needed to shift. So because my mind is shifting. So you have to shift what you're listening to because what you listen to has a great big part to play on your mental health. Do you know what certain songs I want to let my kids listen to? Certain music I would not let them listen to because I didn't like what they were saying in the song. So, no, you can't listen to that. It's certain songs I don't listen to because I don't like what's being said. Because everyone's not preaching positivity and everyone's not preaching um, wellness and mental health and self-care. Everyone's not preaching. So, yeah, there's certain things that you should just be mindful of what you're listening to because it is also conducive to your mental health. So, during this uh, Wellness Wednesday journey, We will be doing a lot of things together. We will be cleaning. We will be cooking. um, We will be taking walks. We will be going outside more because I'm not outside. I'm not really like, I like being in the house, but I know outside is really good for your mental health. So we'll be going outside more, not just to walk the dog or not just to go through, do things with a, we're going to go outside more to enjoy ourselves more. So we're going to go visit a couple of coffee shops in the area, a couple of um, restaurants in the area, and um, just have fun with ourselves. And we'll do this every Wednesday. And, well, you'll see it every Wednesday. And, th- and that will be our Wellness Wednesday segment 
We're also going to drop some gems on self-care and different techniques that you can add to your self-care to enhance your self-care practices. Um, and as always, as always, we will always be branding and working on our candle. Not because it's not done, but because when you own the business, you ain't never finished. You ain't never finished. You always got something to work on. Administrative, physical, mental because you're thinking about it. Physical because you got to make products. Administrative because you got to do the paperwork. But you ain't never done. So when you start your business, make sure you're in it to win it. Because there's never a day off. You got to give yourself a day off. But it's never really a day off. And that's fine as long as your business and what you're building in a brand you're building is conducive to your mental health and it doesn't stress you out, that's fine. But you still need to rest because you don't want to burn yourself out. So you still need to rest. You still need to take a day off for yourself so you can get your mind right. Because if your mind ain't right, then your product ain't right. If your product ain't right, then your brand ain't right. So that's why Wellness Wednesday is important. Because I need to continue to stress the importance of mental health for uh, not just business owners, but for us as uh, as people as general. We don't really take time out for ourselves to do anything for ourselves anymore. We're always on a go, trying to get to the bag. And the bag ain't going nowhere. The bag ain't going nowhere. It's still going to be there. The, it, it'll be there if you give yourself a couple of hours off. It'll be there. So we're going to we're going to um have fun. We're going to have fun on Wellness Wednesday. This Wednesday we will be um getting my living room slash content creating um office together because since my children are going and I'm an empty nester, I'm just going to take my living room and leave it as a living room for when people come over because football is about to start and this is a football house. So when people come over to watch football, they can sit in the living room, but I'm also going to have my desk for my content creation, for my administrative work because I'm in this office all day, 24-7, and I need somewhere else to think at besides here. So I'm going to be in the living room as well. Um, and yeah, so we're going to get that situated and we're also going to work on our candle label. We're going to work on our candle labels. We're going to make a couple of mock-up candles and candle labels and put some on the jars, take pictures and actually ask ourselves, which ones do we really like best before we, um, come to a concrete decision on what labels we're going to be using. But the most important part of this segment is us talking about wellness and how our daily wellness is beneficial to our lives. This segment, I wanted to talk about cooking and cleaning. Today, we're going to talk about cleaning. Since we have some cleaning to do, we're going to talk about cleaning. Um, and I just want to just bring across the benefits of keeping your house clean. It keeps you active because when you're cleaning, you don't realize you'll be sweating all the time. You'll be sweating, sweating them calories off because you moving, you scrubbing that floor, you scrubbing the walls, you moving that furniture around. So you're going to, you know, sweat the calories off. Um, it increases your productivity. It just helps you think. Um, yeah, it helps you think and get things clear. Helps you sleep better. When you when you, when your house is clean, you sleep good. Because you ain't got a lot of clutter around you. Thinking that something's going to fall on your head while you sleep. <laughs> it's less germs. And I got animals. So I'm always cleaning up. Changing something around. That's why I don't really like... I can't even have a living room set because my dog, because Biggie chewed it up. So I just got a little food time and I'm glad I do because I can take it in and out, in and out of the living room, in and out of the living room. And I have to do that because if I don't, then they'll just cat to be cats and, you know, cat spray. And then the dog, he'll just sit on the, on the food time like it's his bed, no matter how many times you tell him to get down. So I don't mind sharing my space with my animals. It's okay. But I do have to have a little area for myself in my living room 
for my mental health. So I'm building, so I'm creating me like a little content creation area. So we're going to do that today um, as well as clean up because I, I don't like germs. I don't want to be sick. I don't like germs. And when you clean up, you ain't got no germs. You got less germs. Um, eating healthier, like I stated earlier. Cleaning up helps you eat healthy. Because uh, I'm a stress eater. Are you a stress eater? Because I'm a stress eater. And um, I eat a lot when I'm stressing. And most of the time, your house really reflects your mind. Because when you're stressing, your house is cluttered. We ain't going to talk about nobody else's house neither. We ain't going to talk about when you go in somebody else's house or what you see. We're going to talk about yours. Because even though you might have a clean outside, your living room might be clean, beautiful, pictures all on the wall, you got your plants up, your kitchen clean, beautiful, curtains all up, you got your hanging plants in your window and all that stuff. It's one room in your house that you know you still need to tend to because that's where you throw all your stuff that you don't know if you really want to throw away. You throw all that stuff into that one room. I know. And it's okay. We we getting it together. We're going to clean that room. If that's the only room in the house you got to clean, then we're going to clean that room so we can declutter the whole mind and not just a little bit of it. It's okay. It's all right. Ain't nobody judging you neither. Ain't nobody judging. We're here to help. We're here to help. Okay? So, um, there are just so many benefits to, to clean to a clean home so many benefits em empowerment you feel good you feel good when you walk in your house and the whole house is clean you feel good like oh look at this this is nice you get to see the space you actually get to see the size of the room because the only thing that's in the room is what's supposed to be in the room you feel me so yeah, cleaning is it's a good thing. And we all know, we all know that most of the time we don't clean because we're so busy with life that certain things just get in the way. But what happened to um, the weekend, Saturday morning being cleaning day? What happened to that? I know I ain't the only one that grew up with Saturday morning being cleaning day. I know I'm not. And it only take about a good two Two and a half hours to clean up. Because your house, I mean, your house ain't filthy, filthy. It shouldn't be filthy, filthy. And it's okay if it is. Just clean up every day. Start throwing that trash that you got on the floor in the garbage. And the more you throw that trash that you got on the floor in the garbage, the better you will feel about yourself. You're not cleaning because your mind is so cluttered. And you're so in your mind about whatever you have going on that is taking up so much of your mental space that you can't even focus on what's in front of you. And you can't think about nothing else besides that issue that's in your mind that's causing you to say, the heck with everything. I'm just going to lay here in my depressed state and let everything pile up and just throw all this stuff on the floor because I don't care about life. And no one cares about me. But that's not true. That's not true. I'm here to tell you that I care about you. I care about you. I care about you so much so that I'm going to come on here every Wednesday to check on you. And your mental health. And your wellness. And where you are in your state of mind. Now all you got to do is be honest with me. Or not even with me. You really got to be honest with yourself. And tell yourself where you are mentally. But I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help you. So if you want to share that with me, go ahead. Because you are not alone. But you're not the only one that suffers from mental uh, health stuff. I suffer from anxiety and depression. And anxiety is a bitch. We all know that. But it's not something we can run from. It's not something we can hide from. It's something we have to learn how to live with. And you learn how to live with anxiety. The best way is learning and understanding yourself, appreciating who you are, and not giving a damn about what nobody thinks. And once you get that into your mind, 
And once that becomes your mindset, watch how things change in your life and watch how you change for the better of yourself. And watch how that house just magically becomes clean and you're going to be the one who did it. So it's all right. Take each day, day, each day, day by day. But just know that we are going to get you out of that rut. And you are going to get out of that rut. And you are going to clean your house to your comfort. Because only you know how much you want in your house and what you want in your house. Only you know what's trash. Only you know what's garbage. So you're going to clean your house to your comfort. And we're just here to root you on to let you know that you are worth it. You are worth everything that you ask for and God is going to give it to you. But cleansing this is close to godliness. So come on, let's get close to the God and start cleaning up. With that being said, I'm going to start doing my cleaning project, which is cleaning the paint off of the floor before I actually put the desk up. So let's get to it. Let's go in the living room and start cleaning this paint off the floor. Okay, so let's go clean the floor. We got our goo going. We're going to spray this on the floor and let it sit for a little bit so we can get the paint out. So this is what I'm cleaning. Let me get it all the way on paint on the floor. the baseboard hopefully it doesn't take the paint off the wall paint right there paint right there it's just paint everywhere y'all everywhere <laughs> thank god i have the type of floors i have because if I didn't, I would have used plastic. I ain't even gonna say I would have been in trouble. I would have been smart, smarter than what I was and use plastic. But right now, we're just gonna spray the gooby going on all the paint. Got some over here. Let's get right there. Let's get right under here. And, and we're gonna let it sit for a good mm, 10 minutes, let's say. And then we're gonna come back and hopefully all we need is mop and water. But if not, we have our plastic blades to scrape the paint up. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Got the mop and I boiled some water to put in the mop and I put a couple of different cleaning supplies. I put Mr. Clean, I put bleach, I put um, palm olive dish liquid and I put some goo going. So let's pray that this actually works. Okay. Let's pray. Okay, so the mop is helping, but it's not really helping. I think I need like a scrub brush and I don't have one. God's off on it. I need like a scrub brush, babe. Cause the pain is coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. It's just taking a lot of force. Long as I know it come up. Yeah, babe, if I had a scrub brush, that'd be better, right? right? 
So we have learned that the paint does come off the floor, but the mop ain't going to do the trick. I need a scrub brush. So I'm going to go in the kitchen to see if I have a scrub brush. And then um, hopefully we can continue. If not, then I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow or the next day. I really don't like waiting because I want to put my desk up. Oh, Jesus loves me, y'all. Look what I got. I got a scrub brush. Jesus loves me. I know Jesus loves me. He shows me all the time. He shows me all the time that he loves me. All right. We found the scrub brush. Let's see. Let's empty the mop water. I mean, let's. Bringing the mop out. I found that square brush. As soon as I opened the um cabinet, it was right there. Like, here I am. All right. I need to go put some pants on. All right. So we put some pants on. Biggie move. We put some pants. Ooh, that water hot. Yep. Yep. We needed a scrub brush. That's exactly what we needed. Huh? What? <laughs> They're always fighting. No sight of paint anywhere in the area in which I just cleaned. Okay, guys, we are at the home stretch. We are at the home stretch. Let me tell you something. This was not easy to do. I started to give up. I started to give up for real. I started to just say, F it, I'll do it. You know our famous word tomorrow. But I'm like, tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday, I have something else planned to do. So, we got to get it today. I feel like Cinderella. My main concern is getting every ounce of paint off of the floor. I don't want no trace of paint being on the floor.
Okay, so we are done with the section of getting the paint off the floor. We even did a little more than we planned on. But we are done with that. So now we are going to put the candle shelf back and put the desk together. Let's push it all the way back to the wall. That's good. That's good. That's it. So as you can see, the shelf is back. And this is our little section so far. That's what we have. So we hope you enjoyed our first live segment of Wellness Wednesday. It will be like this every Wednesday. Might not be as long. But we'll always be doing something conducive to our mental health involving candles. And we will always have conversations about wellness and self-care and things that we can do to take care of ourselves better. And we'll drop some jewels and some tips on different self-care techniques that we will incorporate into our daily lives. With that being said, I'm going to leave you all with a couple of messages. I told you I was going to show you the messages that are on my bookshelf. I'm going to leave you all with a couple of messages. And tell you peace and blessings. May God bless you and keep you during this week. And I'll see you next Wednesday. And don't forget to subscribe. These are the notes from our bookshelf. You have to be persistent. Prayer penetrates the system. The best is yet to come. Don't lose what made God choose you in the first place. Prayer is a weapon. When you pray, you buck the system.